Hello everyone and welcome to another studio vlog. I can't remember the last time I did a voiceover for a video, so especially for a vlog. So here I am saying hello. Um, this vlog is a little bit chaotic, but honestly, all of my vlogs are. And that's okay because life happens and stuff happens that means I can't record. And that happened a lot these last few weeks. Um, just been dealing with everybody around me. Uh, having health issues for some reason. My dad broke his arm, he's okay, but you know, he had surgery and had to go over to my parents and help with that. And then my partner just tested positive for COVID. So like the last three, four days, I've just been like waiting around to see if I get hit with COVID. So kind of crazy, but I did my best to record what I could. Um, right now, oh my gosh, Salem. I don't know what happens when I pull out my microphone and I press record, but Salem just loses his fucking mind. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I did my best to record what I could. Um, right now you're seeing my friend slash assistant pack your orders, pack your goodies, which is always fun. Um, and then for in the beginning of this vlog it was not chaotic at all i was like ready to go shop update prep time and then as the vlog progresses as stuff started happening in my personal life it was like i um don't have anything to record but it's okay um the shop update was gonna be august uh 20th i think it was gonna be but it's gonna be delayed guys i'm sorry it's gonna be in september for sure but i just want more time to like accumulate a little bit more product for you guys um because if i focus too much on designing like really fast i end up not really liking the stuff that i design so i'm just kind of like uh creating as i go and then kind of being like oh this would be cute as like this product because um, you'll see later on that I do a lot more sketchbooking. I went like a good two months without sketchbooking that much. So lately I've been sketchbooking a ton and it's been helping me a lot. Uh, it makes me really happy. It fulfills my creative little soul, but yeah, I will stop talking and, um, recorded me will talk to you guys at some point. <laughs> Oh boy. Welcome to another studio vlog. I am happy and refreshed, uh, feeling ready to come back to studio vlogging. But um, today is Monday, first day. Uh, I went to IKEA today because 
I needed to get some stuff from Ikea because I always do. But this morning my friend uh, slash assistant helped me pack some orders, which was super awesome. And I worked on some designs for the upcoming shop update. And now I am going to sketch in my sketchbook and... Um, oh my goodness! Try to get started on some Patreon originals. So yeah, I have a really busy week ahead, so I hope you guys are excited to see a bunch of stuff going on. But yeah, I have some client work due on Friday, and I have some exciting um, collabs coming up as well that I need to work on. So just lots of stuff brewing. Are you so stinky? Are you my stinky little boy, Sela? Are you so stinky? <gasps> oh my! So we have a few packages. So this, I believe, is the sticker sheets I ordered for the shop update. Yes. So this, these are just a restock of a design that is on this site right now. Everything looks good. It looks a little bit weird, like right here, but all good. And then I made a new design. Of some kitty snacks. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna keep this one, but. <sighs> hmm, I think my favorite, honestly, is probably the gummy cats. Yeah, little cat themed snacks. Alright, and next I have an art tray that I did with Vicky. Which I haven't sent out her package yet, but I have it all ready to go. I just haven't sent it out. But yeah, if you don't know who Vicky is, it's thanks XU, thanks Ju, I believe it's how it's pronounced. Um, she is the sweetest little bean ever. So we did a fun little art trade. Oh my goodness, this is very secure. Some fun snacks. Oh, I think it's mochi. It's squishy. Maybe something similar. Ooh, it looks so yummy. Okay. <gasps> Spring cuties. Oh, such a cute washi tape. I love it. Cottage core. <gasps> cute. Oh, Vicky's design is always so good. Oh my goodness! Is this? Oh, it's a tote bag! Oh, it's a big boy tote bag. Cute! Oh my gosh, I love this. I love the little, the little fishies. Oh, and a pencil case. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is really beautiful. Oh my gosh, Vicky! Vicky, this is so much. Oh my. <gasps> I've I literally just started uh, putting patches on a denim jacket, so this is absolutely perfect. <gasps> Vicky, this is so many stickers. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, another patch. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> oh my. 
Oh, I love this one too. Thank you so much, Vicky. Wow, this is a lot of stickers. Oh wow, the wrapping paper is so cute. I'm just, I'm just gonna. Oh, so cute. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Dumpling. Cute. And then this is a floral sampler. So I, get, I think it's a stationary sampler. <gasps> Magnets, yes. And then we have some stickies. And then some little prints. Ooh, this one especially I love. Oh my gosh, Vicky has spoiled me. Thank you so much. And I will be sending out yours. <laughs> so I have been spending all yesterday and a little bit today doing just like boring admin stuff. And now, today I am gonna continue doing what I've been doing. I need to finish up that client work I was talking about and I can show you guys a little sneak peek what I've been working on for like a little tote design, um, which I'm really excited about. And I'm also doing like a, a small little bucket hat design and a poster. I just need to finish up the poster today and tomorrow. I also have a bunch of Patreon duties today, so I gotta post the sketchbook tour and record the podcast episode and all that good stuff, so keep going at it. So before I send these off to my patrons, I wanted to really quickly show you guys because uh, I really love the originals for this month. I mean, I love them every month, but I think this was a really cute concept. I've been really into bugs lately, so I just wanted to do this really simple painting for my originals tier. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the final product. But yeah, now I get to send these out to my lovely, lovely patrons. So before we continue, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Birch Living. So Birch Living is a premium mattress in a box company that makes comfortable and sustainably sourced mattresses. The mattresses are made right here in the US and they're made with fully organic, natural, sustainably sourced materials. Mattresses are a really big thing that we as humans need. And I love that the mattress that I have now was made sustainably and there was no o-gassing involved in the manufacturing process. And so I'm able to reduce my 
environmental impact by having a mattress that is produced with raw materials. I personally got the Birch Lux mattress, which is an upgrade to their Birch Natural mattress. I've had mine for about a month now and I really, really love it. My favorite part is, again, the 100% non-toxic materials. And also now when my partner comes to sleep over, like he does all the time, it's much more comfortable for us to sleep together and now my pets can fit on there comfortably as well. So along with your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night free trial to, to make sure that you love your mattress. You get a 25 year warranty and it gets delivered right to your door and it's for free if you're in the US. Each mattress also comes with the Eco Rest pillows made from recycled plastic bottles. I got a set myself and my partner really loves them because he sleeps with them all the time. If you have been in the market for a new bed, I highly suggest Birch. If you are interested, Interested, you can click my link below and get $400 off your new mattress plus two free pillows of course okay now we can get back into it over me again um i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and give you a proper outro because um like i said at the beginning of the video stuff got really crazy because um just my dad and covid and all this stuff but yeah i have i really towards the end of this week i did not really record much and especially not really record much of me like talking or explaining stuff but I basically, like at this point of this clip, I decided, that's when I decided to like delay the shop update and give myself a little bit of like free creative time to just kind of like find my creative voice a little bit more again because when you keep doing just like work art and stuff that you have to do, it kind of causes you to fall into a little bit of a, sometimes it can be a creative rut and sometimes it can, you can start to feel like a little bit like a machine and um you stop enjoying yourself in a way so i was kind of like okay i need to step back and i need to like at least dedicate a few days to just like exploring and sketchbooking and watching stuff and reading stuff so that's what i was doing here um i s i've always had this copic pen um it's the copic gas and food a i'm Gasen Fude, I have no idea, but that's that's how it's spelt here. It's a nylon brush, um, and it's very, I guess it's kind of like a calligraphy brush. I'm not sure what the exact term is, but the tip is very soft, and um, I have a lot of trouble letting go of control personally when it comes to drawing and stuff, so 
uh yeah this pen really has helped me out a lot i've always had it but i never use it so i decided to start using it and i decided to also play around with my copics because i haven't done that in a really long time and i was having a, a lot of fun and it started like really inspiring my digital art as well which was really really great that's always a fun thing to see like when you have fun traditionally and seeing it translate into your digital art but yeah so basically been sketchbooking non-stop and just like relaxing and trying to um not force myself to be putting 210 percent all the time but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and next week i will hopefully have a fun video for you guys again i'm still waiting to see if covid hits me i've tested negative so far but uh yeah just waiting to see what happens with that i'm still gonna like roughly take it easy but hopefully gonna have a really exciting video for you guys next week um not next week the week after i'm taking a break next week but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.